At one time in Guns N' Roses, we had about 120 monitors on stage. I had literally two walls of PA, one on right, one on the left. A lot of times you hear hip hop artists screaming and it's because you gotta hear that boom bap, the kick, it's gotta penetrate your chest. You wanna touch people. You want people to hear, you want people to listen. You might not feel it at the moment because it sounds good, it sounds great, and it feels good. But then afterwards, you realize that your ears are fatigued. You got these in-ears, but to still feel the music and experience rock and roll the way you want to experience it, you start turning it up, and then your ears get tired, and you've turned it way up. It's one of those things that you think, well, this is it, this is rock and roll, I'm gonna lose my hearing. You know, I've got my ears checked, and one of the ear doctors said, you know, you have the ears of a 65-year-old man. When I heard about the Rev, I initially thought, that sounds really interesting, but I'm going on stage pretty soon, and I don't think I want to try that. I actually tried it that evening. It was a bit of a revelation. You're battling with this distortion and all these other things that are in there, and you can't really quite understand where they're coming from, except for the fact that it's distortion and the Rev 33 can eliminate. With the Rev 33s, when I play, there's something more open about it. I was able to hear a richness in the sound, but took away the shrill. The even bigger revelation came at the end of the night. I didn't have the mass amount of ringing in my ears. I just started smiling and I got really happy. And I said, hey, guess what? <laughs> I'm having a conversation and I'm able to hear well. You know how sometimes your mom says, try it, you'll like it. You're like, wow, it's actually pretty good. And it's good for my body. The Rev doesn't take anything away from the music. It doesn't hype it, it doesn't EQ it, and it doesn't compress it. It just shows you exactly what's there. It's like the flying car, right? It's always a myth until it actually happens. And then when it works, you're like doing backflips and like, wow, this is great for the rest of my life. I'm gonna save my hearing. Sound is such a beautiful part of life. Not only music, but you know, the things that you hear in between the music. I love to hear my niece laugh. There's a lot that you miss if you don't protect your ears. People always talk about your body being a temple, right? I love my ears. I want to keep what I have left for the rest of my life. And here's my chance. You gotta love your ears, that's right. Love your ears. I love mine. You should love yours too. Love your ears. Get a Rev 33.